I'm, I'm, I'm a director who's known to actually be friendly with critics. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, well, I can say this now because he's, he's no longer with us, but the critic for the New York Times, uh, who used to give me good reviews, but not all the time, called me up one day and asked me to have lunch at Sardi's. And I thought, well, I never go to Sardi's, how grand. Uh, and I went to Sardi's, and what he really wanted to talk about was the fact that he was in love with a woman and not his wife. And I thought, why are you telling me this? I felt sort of like I was, I don't know, uh, doing Henry Kissinger talking to the Vietnamese. Anyway, I have been friendly with critics for a very long time, so I basically like them. However, they have a good chance always to tell me what they think about my work. And sometimes it's happy, and sometimes it's hurtful, and sometimes it's annoying, and sometimes it makes me mad. So I thought I'd have a really good time doing some plays about them. So I'm going to do Richard Brinsley Sheridan's The Critic, and which is an 18th century play, and Tom Stoppard's The Real Inspector, Inspector Hound, which is a 20th century play. And they're both about critics. And they're both um, beastly about critics on one level. And I think I'm going to have fun doing that. I've been so nice to them for years. I think it's nice to do it this way. They're terribly, terribly funny plays. And they're not just sort of beastly about critics. They're pretty uh, satirical about very bad writing. Of course, we don't do bad writing for Shakespeare Theater, but, but uh, they're about bad writing, too, and kind of funny uh, theater styles. What's interesting is, first of all, the critic uh, is normally a two-act play, but has rather famously been done as a one-act play, originally by Laurence Olivier, who did it with Oedipus. We've commissioned Jeff Hatcher, who uh, did a wonderful adaptation of The Government Inspector, to, re to rethink, that is to... Uh, find a way to do the critic in one act, which he's done a brilliant job, and that will be our second rediscovery of the season. The first rediscovery being the Salome, the second being the critic. And um, it's, uh, it's a truly funny script. But the theater styles that are mocked, one is the 17th century, bad actors or overacting, and the second, uh, the Stoppard, sort of deals with a kind of style that English country house murders had uh, in the 40s and the 50s that were so popular. So I've done my research. Uh, I've watched a lot of murder mysteries of the 40s and 50s, a lot of Agatha Christie. As a matter of fact, I did an Agatha Christie once with Joan Fontaine called The Unexpected Guest. That was when I was really in my 20s and before I had much of a career. Um, and so I know a lot about Agatha Christie movies, uh, Agatha Christie plays. So I'm really looking forward to using that research, which is my own, and the other research I've done on 17th century, 18th century acting. But I think you don't need to know any of that because I think actually it's really there for you to have fun sometimes at other people's expense, but fun. I think they're really terrific plays.